This is your host, Tom, and this is Animasia, coming to you from 734 Games, and here on BitChute. And today we're playing Bright Memory. Now, Bright Memory is a game by a Chinese studio, FYQED F -Y -Q -D Studio. And they're out of China. It's mainly one guy, but he did start restart development, and uh, hopefully he got a team. They see he said he made enough money to restart development on March. Uh, I want to say March 18th. He put the news on his on the Steam Hub. So that's pretty cool. This is an awesome game. Beautiful graphics. A lot of fun. It blends a lot of different style of games in one sort of you know game. It's the the the, the style. The art style is obviously anime. Very Asiatic, you know, art style. Really cool. It feels like sort of like a cross between like Doom and Devil May Cry with a little bit of Tomb Raider in there. So, I mean, you're going to have, I think, if you like anime, you're going to love this game. There's a lot here to like. A really cool game, and let me just tell you about it. Okay, if you go on Steam right now and you buy this game, this game is $6.99. You're mainly getting an early access demo. That's basically what this game is. Now, he did a big update to it, which at first it did not have controller support. But the game, uh, they say the game is about maybe two hours at the most, the demo, for six ninety nine. Now, I'm pretty sure if you buy the game in early access, you're going to get the full game when he finishes the full game. That's always the problem with early access is, you, you know, you could probably, you could usually end up getting a good product at the end, but you may not. The game may not change that much. There's always a risk with early access. But what's here is really pretty, especially for six ninety nine. Now, the voice acting is all in Chinese. You're going to get good subtitles, but the voice acting is, is all in Mandarin. So that's basically it. You're not going to get English voice acting. But the voice acting is actually pretty good. So I actually enjoy the voice acting. And some anime fans enjoy voice acting, enjoy the original voice over rather than the dub style animes. A lot of, a lot of people who like anime do not enjoy... Because generally when they get um, English, you know, when they get actors to do English voice voiceovers, it's not as good as the original voice acting. I mean, they're very hard on voice actors in China and Japan, obviously. So at the end of March, basically, he updated the game, and the game does have controller support for the Xbox One controller. It doesn't have PlayStation 4 controller support. So basically, if you have an Xbox One controller lying around, you can use a controller with this. And this is the kind of game that would be is a lot of fun with a controller, and you're, you're going enjoy to enjoy the, enjoy the crap out of it. I, there's a lot to like here. The art style is beautiful. It is a lot more. I think this game is a lot more innovative in a lot of ways than a lot of AAA stuff you are seeing out there right now. So definitely pick up Bright Memory if you want to check it out. You'll get the full it's $6.99, and you'll probably get more 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 in content later on. And I just can't wait for more content. I can't wait to see more what what else FYQD Studios puts out for Bright Memory in the future. That's it for this episode of 734 Games. This is your host, Tom, signing off from Animasia at 734 Games. 734 Games, where gaming is alive.